A bam and welcome, everybody, to the demo of Randoville. Uh, it's a town builder where you use dice. Wow, 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 wow. And here we are in our lovely, lovely island. Uh, so we start out, we've got to put down a town square. Ka-chow. What do we roll? Oh, nat 20. This is a good start. Uh, okay, right. Well, I feel like that's probably just a pretty good, a pretty good thing. Uh, so I've got a load of little box boys that are going to be going around. And we start out by putting down a, a uh, warehouse. Neat. Uh, this can go somewhere. Um, <laughs> so in the, remember, this is the demo, it's bare bones. Um, you know, everything's subject to change. Uh, one thing immediately I feel like might need a little fix is uh, you want to rotate a building. That's how quickly it rotates. <laughs> it's pretty fast, so it's kind of hard to uh, super line it up. Um, but I'm still there for it. Uh, so the way this game is working is every time you want to place a building, uh, you will be rolling a dice to see how good that building is. And the better your dice roll, ooh, 18, the better the building is. Uh, so the more it will produce. So we're going to have our lumberjacks over here. And how much is this going to be producing for us? Four wood per second. Uh, so it's a purple star. So as we level up, uh, our odds of getting better things is better. Uh, we're more likely to get higher, higher quality stuff. So uh, yellow, best quality. White, lowest quality, uh, green, blue, purple, in between. And what we're trying to do is keep building up, and then we are going to kind of restart. Oh my god, another 20. Man, we are just absolutely on fire right now. Also, that gives just much better experience. Okay, five stone, four wood. Uh, currently, we are just consuming bread, which is not so, so super hot. All right, let's get ourselves a field. A two. Oh, it's a bad field. Uh, I guess the field can go near my my uh, my barn. And a seven. Okay, you, that's a, it's an adequate field. Uh, we only have so many people, uh, but this is not the end of the world because we are trying to get to a point where we can restart our our town, and then uh, we get like more perks and we get to do uh, just like a better town the next time. Where do I want you? I want you near my fields. Something like that. Right, how are we doing? We're still, we're only getting one food out of this. Uh, we're in a net positive, uh, but I need more gold. Right, we're gonna need to get ourselves a marketplace. Uh, we've got five people. Um, that's an okay. Okay town. Uh, in the middle? Sure. Okay, it's looking kind of pretty, apart from no one has anywhere to live. So this game kind of plays out a little bit like um, like an incremental, almost like clicker game, if that kind of makes sense. Like every time that we are going to regress, we will have a better start next time and be able to do a little bit better and go up in the levels and get higher rolls until we can make just a mega town really, really quickly. Come on, give me a nice big house. 17. Great. Wow, that is a big house. Uh, do you want to live near my... Live near the barn. Uh, so that gives us a few more people, but now means that we're eating a lot more food. And this could be kind of bad, but it allows me to get a few more people working here. Uh, we have the gold to get another windmill. I need a good windmill out of this. A two. Ugh. That's a bad windmill. Okay, right. We need we need a good windmill. Getting two super bad windmills. Windmill. Go, go roll big. 12. 12 is okay. If that generates two? Okay, right, we're in net positive, but we are losing a ton of wheat. But it won't take me too long to get another wheat field. Go on, give me a 20. A 10. I'll take a 10. Uh, you can just go anywhere. Uh, we're still losing a lot of wheat. We are losing food. It is doomsday. We have died. People are dying. This is bad. Right, another field. Go roll big. 18. 18 we can work with. Uh, we leveled up. 
Okay, only minus one wheat. Actually, having someone die kind of helped with my food supply. Uh, we didn't eat them. Uh, right, give me one more wheat. One! <laughs> okay, right, when I said one more wheat, that's not exactly what I meant. Okay, right, we're breaking even. We are now making a net positive on food, and we can kind of let that just work its magic. Right, kind of ticking along. So we need to save up. I need to get 500 food, which is a way off. Gold is the big the big problem. So let's get a new marketplace in town. 17! Love that. That is a big market. Okay. Right, we do a lot of trade with our bad wheat. We're doing gold. Nine a second. Okay, that one gives me four compared to the other two. Just give me two each. Uh, we can also look around and there's gems on the map that we can collect. Uh, and the gems are sort of a currency that we use to buy rewards for kind of prestige mode. So we can also, if we want, uh, collect stone ourselves uh, by clicking. Uh, so I need 1200 stone. Um, or we can kill trees and get wood from them. I just need stone and we can make ourselves a lovely shrine. How good is the shrine? A 10. Sure. In the middle of the town? Yeah, it's a bit cramped, but I'm kind of into that. Nice. Shrine complete. Okay, and we can regress. Uh, that will get us a whole load of goods, but we'll do that later. Because we can buy stuff. So we can buy more dice. If you want different colored dice, very cool. We can change how we throw it. Um, or buy some progress. I've got 204 gems. Build a mine. Plus 50% experience. 100%. Uh, bigger zones. Plus 50% experience. Yes. I definitely want that. Uh, can we just buy everything? Uh, plus one wood. Plus one rock. Plus one gold. Buy a mine. Bigger expansion zone. So I haven't unlocked the higher tiers yet, but... That all seems pretty good. We don't need other dice currently. Uh, that's the first time I've ever said that in my life. Regress. Uh, we got a little bit of cash. Boom. Uh, do we want to buy anything? So we could buy a cool metal dice. Gold dice. Crystal dice. We don't need it yet. And so, boom, we're back again. Uh, right. Begin. But now, high level, so... Our rolls will be a little bit better at doing stuff. Uh, you come along. And we're going to be getting more resources from each of our things. Uh, sure. Have, have your place. And then we just need to get the basic stuff set up again. Give me a good lumber, lumber yard. 16. I'll take it. Man, purple rating. Love it. Uh, give me some stone. Eight. Uh, still like a like a tier three, which is pretty good. That was a good good market. Man, we're getting pretty good rolls, but I hope we don't get the the food problems again. Thirteen. Nice tier four. Love it. How much do you make? Four per second. Real good. Oh, twelve. Okay, tier three. How much do you make? Three food per second. Okay, already with those rolls, we're basically in the green. I could do with another field. Even if it's a like a low level field, not too bad. A ten, I will absolutely take it. Okay, we're net positive for everything. Uh, house is a twelve. Where would you like to live? I feel like come down here by the farm. And we dinged. Nice. Okay, there. <laughs> there's low on trees. But ten lumber a second, nine stone is great. Uh, food, a little bit bad, but we can actually work with that for a while. Because I just need to get to 500. Uh, so I can get my shrine again. Uh, that's a bad market. You can just plonk on the end there. Uh, we don't have the capability to make mines, so a mine would be here. But we can buy a new square. What did we get? A 12! So the bigger the number, the bigger the roll. So I can't remember what we rolled at the beginning, but look how small our starting area was compared to the second one. Is there a world where I get 
stone and the mine. Maybe. Maybe there. Because now we've got a far bigger area to actually build in. Uh, so we can put down decorations. Like, make fences if we wanted to. Uh, and actually make our town look a little bit prettier. Okay, doesn't that look good? And then we can put props down. Uh, what do we want? A lamp. Love it. Uh, but we're level 15, so we'll be able to get some the next tier of upgrades. And a shrine. Give me a good one. 17. That's a good shrine. Uh, come down by the market near the house. Two times speed. Love it. And extra peasants to begin with. Okay, we need to hit level 20 for our next next goal. Uh, do you want meteor dice roll? Sure. Uh, so you can see how much quicker we made it to this step of the town. Uh, I need wood. I need stone. Oh, I'm actually capped out on wheat because... Wow, that's a good dice roll. Okay, we got the meteor. Uh, it's not the best windmill, but we are net positive. Still making good on the wheat. Uh, also, now we can go on two times speed, so we just generate way quicker on the resources. So eventually, you can unlock up to four times speed, which sounds super rad. Uh, so I'm just going to roll some dice. <laughs> Watch out for the meteor. Oh my god, that blew up some trees. Uh, okay, a little bit smaller than our previous one. I'm just doing this to get um, experience in. Uh, got another lumber camp. ka -chow! Meteor strike. And I don't think we're too far from doing another restart. ka -chow! 19! That's a big barn! So what have you got? Capacity 2,000 at the moment. But with a second barn. Capacity 4,000. Great. Sweet. Okay. Can we buy anything else? A new town square? <laughs> okay, maybe don't hit the trees with it. Wow, that's a big, that's a big area. Like, we can make a mine just for the sake of it. And then, I think it's regression time. Ah, we're level one. Okay. 40 experience. Not a lot of experience. Why don't you make a second shrine? Seems wild. Second shrine. Seems kind of overkill. 19. Wow, that's going to be... Plus 200 experience. Great. Uh, 17. Real neat. Nice, we dinged. Okay, I reckon we get out of here and we try... Newtown. Uh, we get some more stuff. What do we want? Do you want a new dice? What that cool, like, gem dice? The black dice is pretty good. But gold. Yeah, let's do it. Let's go gold. Uh, regress. Okay, we kind of like started in that area quite a lot. Although there is good resources. We could go on like the little island. That could be nice. And then expand out. But where's the nearest mine to it? God, it's really far away. Maybe just come over here. Well, we'll see how big the starting is. ka -chow. 18. Really good. Oh my god, look how big it is. Okay, maybe we can go somewhere a little bit more extreme. We've got wood, we have stone, we've got all of the good stuff. Oh, gems. All right, give me a good, that good barn. Two. That's not a good barn at all. And we need lumber. Uh, I didn't activate my cool, cool boys. You can go in the woods. We need a stone. That's okay. A level three now on a nine. Pretty good. How are we doing on wheat? Nine per second. Okay, give me that good windmill. 13, I'll take it. A level four. Super cool. What do we want? Another market. Gold and stone are kind of the worst. We don't actually have more stone. We could go across across the ocean. Uh, a 13. Nice. Okay, because I want access to their quarries over there. And we can build a bridge. Uh, I don't know how much my bridge is going to cost. Oh my god, a thousand wood? That is a, a crazy expensive bridge. Right, we might not be going there for a while. <laughs> okay. Right. We will cross that bridge when we get to it. Stone is going to be tough, but stone is actually one of the easier ones to get because we can just super click. Uh and just generate a whole load. Okay, we've got good resources, apart from food, so let's try and build the bridge. Yeah. Do it. 
is expensive. It's so expensive. But now we've got a place to cross the river. And we can get ourselves a delicious bit of stone. Okay, give me another stone. 17. Love it. Look, they're using my bridge. They love the bridge. Thank you, Mr. Tom. It's an amazing bridge you built us. We couldn't have got to that stone without it. So welcome. 17. That's a big house. Ah, oh, do you want to live by the bridge? You can be the bridge keeper. Yeah. And Nat 20. Nat 7. <laughs> That's fine. <laughs> do I have a quarry in range? We've got one over there. I could actually come up here, but no, I want to, I want more people to use the bridge. I spent a lot of money on that bridge, and I want to get my, my value. Nat 20 on the house. Okay, right, let's get some people living on this side. So at some point they can go to war with each other. The bridge war. And seeing as wood's coming in, let's give them a nice, nice big fence. We probably should have some streetlights down here, because it's a long way to go to get to the quarries. Oh, the bridge wars have begun. They're kind of like pushing each other. Oh god, even with those lights, it's still pretty spooky at night. Uh, I have a bench by the marketplace. You might want to have a little rest as you eat your delicious apples or wheat or whatever it is that you bought from the market area. Uh, right, the shrine. Make it so. It's a two. Not a good shrine. Okay, right, shrine. Uh, I want my meteor throwback and my golden dice. And... Uh, we get more basic resources, and we can build a forge now. How's the food situation? We are now losing food. So, throw in another windmill. A 15, that's a great windmill. Uh, maybe come out here. I kind of like this sort of, like, long town that we're making. People just living on the big road. Oh, right, so the mine, it requires two people to work there. An 18, that's a good mine. That's good. Good economy. Ah, uh, doesn't, like, this side of the town look really nice? Like the little lights, like weird long town. Uh, we've got the people, time to build a forge. Give me a 20. It's a nine. Bonk. Under construction. Uh, so this isn't really part of the demo it, uh, in the tutorial. It says like, you know, you don't really actually do anything with iron at the moment. Uh, so, but this is like the core kind of idea of the game. Um, I really like, I really like the premise. I'm into it. Uh, especially if there's like more levels and you keep building up and it's like really fast to kind of like put your town together but yeah it kind of kind of hot to see uh see where they go with it very neat uh what is the physical throw oh look oh it's kind of fun oh uh, watch out nice a 14 oh physical throw maybe my favorite one actually okay 21 wait a second god let's just Way too much wheat. Not a problem. Ah, oh, it really bounced around there. <gasps> Nat 20. Give me that good windmill. Uh, five food per second. Job's good un. A pound. So this is Randerville, everybody. Uh, really, really cute. I um, cannot wait to play more when the full game's actually out. Uh, wow, you can, <laughs> you can grab the people with it. Uh, <laughs> just absolutely torment them with some kind of wheat-based tornado. Uh, but yeah, the game, very cool. And this is the demo. You know, there's going to be some things that aren't um, aren't representative of the finished, finished game. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Until next time, everybody. See ya.